Hey guys, Laurelyn here and this is the Asus ROG Swift PG348. So okay, first, let me tell you guys that this is by far the best overall monitor I've ever used. And in this video, we'll find out why. Starting with the specs, this is a 34-inch curved ultra-wide IPS monitor with a resolution of 3440x1440 at 75Hz and can be overclocked of up to 100Hz with the NVIDIA G-Sync. Yep, 100Hz and 1440 resolution. How cool is that? Now, if you don't know, NVIDIA G-Sync eliminates the screen tearing when reaching a higher FPS. The main material is aluminum and plastic. It has a futuristic design and build. And like other new ROG product, it also features the new color scheme, the silver and copper, which to me is a lot better than the common black and red theme. The bezel is solid and extremely thin. Adjusting the monitor height and rotation is very smooth. Another cool thing about this is the ROG logo projection at the bottom. The logo rotates as you rotate the monitor which looks cool. It has 3 levels of brightness but there's no fancy lighting effect. As for the connectivity, it has a Kensington lock, earphone jack, power connector, USB 3.0 upstream and downstream ports, HDMI, and display port. Just keep in mind guys that HDMI can only go up to 60Hz so I would recommend using display port which allows you to go up to 100Hz. This monitor also have this built-in FPS counter which is an excellent addition. However, it can only display up to 100FPS. The color accuracy and clarity is well balanced too, making it a great monitor not only in games but also in multimedia works as well. With this ultra wide and high resolution, multitasking with this monitor is excellent. I feel very comfortable and organized while working doing some multimedia works. It also have a 4 levels of blue light filter which basically reduce eye strain which is a good addition. The physical buttons for the on-screen display are located at the back. It's clicky and I personally prefer a physical buttons like this. Navigating through menu is a lot easier thanks to the small joystick controller. Overclocking this monitor is easy as ABC. Just press the dedicated turbo button behind the monitor and it will switch between 60 and 100 FPS. Another way is by pressing the joystick behind it and navigating through overclocking tab. That allows you to select a refresh rate between 75 all the way up to 100 Hz. The light below indicates if your G-Sync is working or not. If the color is red, that means the G-Sync is working, but if it is white, it's in the default refresh rate. With the G-Sync enabled, playing games on this monitor is so satisfying. It is very smooth, the colors are very accurate, the widescreen is absolutely perfect, and I personally prefer a setup like this rather than having a multiple monitors and bezels in front of you. Just keep in mind guys that not all games supports a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. For example, if you use 3440 by 1440 resolution in Dota 2, you'll get an even U display, which can be distracting. A scenario like this will force you to use a lower resolution to make it look like normal. And we all know that reducing the resolution will also give you a lesser quality and sharpness. It has nothing to do with the monitor and driver. It is the game, so keep that in mind. Moving on, watching movie is really great. The resolution in the IPS panel is amazing. The viewing angles is perfectly fine and the color shifting is good too. So that's it guys, there's a lot of good things about this monitor. I mean a lot of amazing things like 100Hz, 1440 resolution, futuristic design and build, and of course the NVIDIA G-Sync. So with all that things, the Asus ROG Swift PG348 does not come cheap. It is priced at $1,300. And yes, to run modern games at stable 75Hz, you'll be needing a powerful PC as well. And to give you an idea, here's my test setup. Any short benchmark using this setup. The only thing that I didn't like about this monitor is the built-in speakers which to me is completely useless. Other than that, this is really an amazing monitor for its price. This is something I would consider as the best monitor for designers and gamers. So that's it guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.